Hi, I'm Sydney Chestnut and I own Self Made Couture. It's a custom clothing company based in Cleveland, Ohio. We're also online, so we're international, and we have a showroom as well in Seattle. Pretty much, we make custom suits, shirts, pants, anything for weddings, proms, custom clothes in general for men and women. People usually assume that I'm the fashion person in the relationship and in the company, but I really handle the website. So I went to school for software engineering and that's what I do. I love tech. My husband's actually the one that meets with the clients one-on-one -on -one and designs their outfits. We wanted to make sure that our community that's usually ignored by the luxury industry was able to afford custom suits. So we cut out the middleman, flew to China, flew abroad, made partnerships with suppliers personally so that we're able to provide the same things that Gucci, Louis Vuitton, other brands and high-end names provide for a fraction of the cost. Look y'all, I couldn't do it anymore. I honestly was about to quit YouTube this month. And then I realized it's not YouTube that's the problem. It's me. My content was so boring. I didn't even want to look at it, edit it, or film it myself. Why would anyone else want to watch it? I realized that I was making content that was searchable and like very how to -y because I've been worried about people finding me since it's a brand new channel, but forget that. I'm just gonna take y'all with me moving forward. Right now I'm in Seattle, so you'll notice it's not my normal living room background. I got this new gimbal that's like a selfie stick and it rotates with me because sometimes Brandon doesn't want to film me. And I want to take you guys on the go more. I want to show you what we do in our life instead of sitting there telling you. I think I needed this crash and almost burn out month to kind of tap back into what I'm doing in this world. And honestly, my sorority sister, shout out to Chelsea Hayes. She owns um, the Coaching Factory. I reached out to her, I was literally at the bar with my husband. I called her in the bathroom and I was like, I need to talk to you. I'm at a roadblock with YouTube. I don't know what to do, but it's just not working for me. And I had an amazing hour long session with her and I realized the issue was I over planned. I was sucking the creativity out of what the space is supposed to be. So yeah, this month, this month was rough. This month I was beating my head against the wall and I really just felt hopeless. I was so excited in January when I started the YouTube channel. I went back to those beginning videos and even though the quality wasn't the best, I didn't even have background music. It's like, I was just doing me. And somehow the next month and the month after that, it became very corporate-y and oh, like, oh, that's not, that's not this. I am a proud, black, bisexual, married woman who works in corporate America and owns her own business with her beautiful black husband. And that's what I wanna show because I want other beautiful, strong, independent women in this world to see that they can live their life to the fullest too, with no shame, with no guilt, and it's okay. Sometimes the best thing you can do for the world is be yourself. So that's what I'm gonna do more often. I don't know, I don't know how I lost that, but we're not even gonna look in the rear view mirror. It is what it is, everything happens for a reason. Thank you so much to everyone who has been a part of this journey so far and that has sat through all my boring videos for the last like three months, but Moving forward, it's gonna be more vlog style, more lifestyle, like more me. And I'm just gonna take it week by week. Whatever happens, happens. 
I'm gonna show up authentically and you're gonna see what's going on in the self-made's world. That's it. Love you guys.